Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is schema and instance in DBMS. Guys, I have uploaded complete DBMS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is schema. The design of the database is called as schema. Schema tells us about the structural view of the database. It gives us an overall description of the database. Guess schema is nothing but design of database. That is nothing but if we represent overall database in structured format, then we call it as schema. This schema will provide overall description of the database. I will give an example so that you can clearly understand what is schema. For example, let us consider my database name is my database. My database contains total three tables. One table is employee table, one table is department table, and one table is project table. Employee table contains total six columns. They are name, job title, phone number, salary, department ID, and project ID. And similarly, department table contains two columns. They are department ID and department name. And project table contains project ID and project name columns. As we know, employees works in department. So we can establish relationship between this employee table and department table. Department ID column is common for these both tables. So we can establish relationship by connecting these two columns. Now I will connect these two columns. And similarly, every employee works on particular project. So we can establish relationship between this employee table and project table. Project ID column is common for these both tables. So we can establish relationship by connecting these two columns. Now this entire structure is known as schema. How many tables that are present inside my database? The table names and how many columns that are present inside particular table? The column names and relationship between these tables. This entire structure is considered as schema. The schema will represent only structure of the database, but it will not display actual data which is present in database. For example, inside employee table there is record name, SAI, manager, contact number 35000 and so on. But it will not display this record. It will just display structure of the database, but it does not show actual data. Guess we will represent this structure by using schema diagram. I will draw schema diagram for this database. Guys, this is schema diagram for this database. Total there are three tables, employee, department and project. Guys, in this diagram we call table name as entities. And where this name, job title, phone number, salary, department ID, project ID, all these are column names. But in this diagram, we call these column names as attributes. Attributes are nothing but properties. Where this table name is entity and this column names are attributes. And I am establishing relationship between this employee table and department table and similarly employee table and project table. Guys, this is entire schema diagram. Schema diagram contains only table name and column names and relationship between tables. We call it as schema. A database schema defines how the data is organized using the schema diagram. We will represent schema by using schema diagram. A schema diagram is a diagram which contains entities. Entities are nothing but table names and the attributes. Attributes are nothing but column names. That will define the schema. A schema diagram only shows us the database design. It does not show the actual data of database. As I already said before, schema will represent only structure of database, but it will not show actual data. Schema can be a single table or it can have more than one table which is related. In database, if there is only single table, then we call that single table as schema. For example, if there are multiple tables which are related, then we call that multiple tables as schema. Next, I will explain what is instance. Guys, we also call instance as extinction or we also call it as database state. Instance is a collection of information that is stored in a database at particular moment is called an instance of database. Guys, instance is nothing but, for example, I open my database. Inside my database, there is employee table. Employee table contains employee ID, that is ID 1, name Sai and salary 5000. And similarly, ID 2, name Ramesh and salary 6000. Whenever I open my database, at particular point of time, whatever the information that is present inside my database, we call that information as instance. For example, at 9 am, I open this database. This database contains this information. We call it as instance. I close this database and again at 9.30, I open this database. Now, whenever I open this database at 9.30, there are three records inside this table. Now, we call it as instance. 
at particular point of time whatever the information that is present inside my database we call that information as instance guys in exam you may get question like explain difference between schema and instance schema will just provide description of database like table name column names and so on and whereas instance will provide snapshot of database at particular point of time we will not change schema frequently only whenever we want to insert new columns or only whenever we insert new tables we will change structure of schema but we will not change schema frequently so schema rarely changes and whereas frequently we will keep on inserting updating and modifying records so instance changes frequently here name rule number and section are examples of schema and whereas sai 21 and section r examples of instance 